There's no doubt 2020 was by far one of just the craziest years of our lives. I don't have to remind you of all that we, that we went through. You, you were there, you experienced it firsthand. The weirdest part of it all was how everything was shut down though. Stores, businesses, daycares, airports, and the list goes on and on. Everywhere we looked, we saw the same sign hanging that stayed in the windows longer than normal. The sign that read, closed. And the church was no different. Just like every other entity, churches all over the community, the country, and the world had to shut down and tell people they were closed. But let me ask you something. In 2020, was the church really closed? I'm not talking about the building. I know the buildings that have church logos hanging on them were closed. But was the church actually closed? For those of you who have been believers for a while now, you know what I'm getting at. Because in all actuality, the church never closed. You see, we all have an idea of the church in our modern day world that we associate with buildings, children's ministries, choirs, and Sunday services. But the church from the very beginning was never about a building. The church was just a group of committed believers who gathered to grow in the word, fellowship, and offer help to those in need. Luke details what the first church looked like in the book of Acts. He said, and they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And awe came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were being done through the apostles. And all who believed were together and had all things in common. And they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing the proceeds to all as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts. By that description, the church was never closed during the pandemic. It stayed open, why? Because just like the first century church, Believers in 2020 didn't just go to church, they were the church. And a big part of being the church is engaging in the mission of helping the least lost and marginalized. Let me ask you this, what if one of the reasons why unbelievers haven't taken the step to follow Jesus is because we keep going to church without being the church? A large part of engaging and participating in church is being the church in our homes, our communities, our grocery stores, the sports field, and wherever God has given us an opportunity. And when we engage in both going to church and being the church, nothing can stop the move of God, not even the craziest year of our lives. So here's my challenge to you. I want you to think about an area in your life where you feel God nudging you to be the church and write that in the comment section below. It could be your home, school, place of work, community center, wherever, write it below so that we can pray for you and with you as you not only go to church, but you become the church wherever you are. If you've enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up icon and comment below. We love hearing from you. Please help Trinity reach out to others and share this video with a friend by clicking the share link below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. God bless your day.